What's up, agents? And welcome back to another division video where we are chilling in the base of operations on the Chinese version of the division two. As you can see, some things look much more colourful in this base. It certainly is a lot more vibey than ours right now. Look at this guy here, looks like he's about ready to go to outer space. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. I wanted to show you a gun that I just picked up. It's the seasonal AR for the Chinese version of the Division 2. And it's one that we've not got. So that's why I wanted to make a video to show you. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And let's get straight into it. Right, so if I go into this here and I scroll down, you can see it's a slightly different colour. I'm not sure why it's a slightly different colour, um, but... I guess the 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 what their class is kind of better exotics all look a little bit different um, as, as seasonal. And if we translate what uh, what it's called, and we'll hover over it and we'll get the translation. It's called the Gemini. If I hover over it, I don't know. It just says it's the rank. It's rank thirty. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to level it up, and it calls it a legend. Uh, gun. Now if I hover over this one, which is my uh, St. Elmo. Um, it doesn't say that this one is legend. So yeah, I don't know. They are all both legendary though, but maybe it's just lost in translation a little bit. But what I want to do is show you what it looks like. And as you can see, it looks pretty awesome. And I think there was a guy, is he, uh, maybe he's gone. Uh, there was a guy just out here with a fully modded up version. This guy's using uh, uh, the a different one, but I'll show you this one as well, actually, while we're here. So this one we've seen in previous uh, videos. I covered it uh, a little before. It's a, a P90, uh, a Bumblebee-esque. Uh, so this video's turned into something else now, but you can see this guy has purchased the mods for it. So the mods for the exotic guns, for the seasonal ones, everything else can be earned in the game by playing or by doing tasks or by doing tasks for the website or, or things like that. But exotic mods for the certain guns, you uh, not the St. Elmo, you get him on the St. Elmo, but these specialist legendary, let's call them. Uh, as you, To get these mods, you have to actually just buy them. There's, as far as I know, there's no way of just earning them uh, in the game, unless that's something that they will roll around. Uh, they do tend to roll things like that around, but as of right now, uh, as you can see, this is how it is. And if we were to translate this talent to the best of our ability, this, I'm not going to go over the stats because the stats are just wild, right? They get bigger stats. This is weapon damage. It's 50%. It just is what it is. Uh, you can see here at the bottom, this symbol's slightly different. If we translate it, this is damage to elites at the bottom, which they still have in the game uh, at 15%. The second stat there is uh, critical hit damage. Then they've got weapon damage on there as well. And then the one underneath it at 10% is... Uh, oh, no, sorry. That's headshot damage, weapon damage, critical hit chance. And if we were to look at the uh, the talent on this gun, uh, this is called Wasp Strike. There's a 15% chance of additional pollution effect when hitting the enemy within 20 meters. And the damage of the pollution is determined by its own single damage. I guess by its own weapon damage, that's trying to say. Dealing a critical hit on the target within 20 meters will increase the weapon damage by 25%. Uh, and give you an extra 6% rate of fire, which will last 8 seconds. And you can stack that up to 10 times. Uh, reach when the... So, so when you've got 10 stacks... Uh, the strengthening time can be refreshed by hitting more enemies. So I guess obviously by carrying on, you can just keep it at max forever. Uh, yeah, and obviously we weren't meant to be going over this gun. We were meant to be going over the Gemini, but as we're here and this is a gun that we've not got, let's take a look at it. So let's just have a... So this guy's got... So both of these guys have got the Wasp on by the looks of it. Uh, oh, and chat if you didn't notice i like this costume i really really would like this army fit costume in our our game i really feel like the uh the aesthetic would fit in you know there's not a lot of pixels and you know graphics in this costume i feel like they would uh you know wouldn't have a hard time with any console restrictions what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below uh right so let's just go back into this and we'll inspect somebody else no that's definitely the wasp inspect that's the wasp 
Inspect. That's the wasp. Inspect. All right, there's another gun. So we can do this one as well. This is fun. So this is a shotgun. Again, this, got, this guy's got it modded up. Uh, and uh, it's a legend shotgun. It's called uh, Fireworks is what it's translating as. So let's have a look here on the stats. These stats are way different. There's a lot of stats here. So let's have a look what this one's getting. Shotgun damage and uh, an armor value that you get with this as well. Then we've got damage to health and we've got critical hit chance. And the bottom one on this is damage to targets out of cover. Uh, we've then got an active barrier. So critical hits mark the enemy. Oh, lost my translation. Let's get back. Critical hits mark the enemy uh, target for 20 seconds. Up to six targets can be marked at the same time. When subjected to physical attacks from the marked target, the damage will be reduced for every 8,000 increase in total amount of armor the damage reduction will be increased by one percent current uh damage reduction is two percent and it looks like there's some kind of uh upper damage reduction limit that you can hit as well so i guess by hitting enemies and stacking up the stacks you can basically make yourself more tanky so definitely a tanky style gun uh yeah pretty pretty cool i think my game has crashed my game hasn't crashed for a long time, so that's a little bit gutting. But, let's move on. So, let's take a look at the gun that I have just picked up. This is the fully modded version. This is not actually mine. There's somebody in the base of operations with the fully modded version. So, we will take a look at it. Obviously, it is called the Gemini. And you can just kind of see here uh, at the top. It's got some crazy style mods on it. This mod's giving like 10% uh accuracy uh, uh sorry effective range accuracy and stability then this mod here is giving uh accuracy oh no rate of fire accuracy and rate of fire so 20 percent accuracy and 40 percent rate of fire uh the stop is giving 25 percent stability and the very very cool looking magazine is giving 30 extra bullets uh, and uh, a reduction in reload speed really 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 nice and then obviously we've got weapon damage here at the top we've got uh sorry assault rifle damage then we've got weapon damage we've got critical hit rate uh, and then we've got uh 22 damage to target out of cover with a follow-up of uh damage to elites uh, the, the, I tried to translate this earlier on and I'm kind of just going to give you a little bit of a summary of it because it's it's a little bit uh, tough to read, but essentially this gun does something that no other gun in the game has done for us or for them. It actually allows you to go 20% over critical hit chance cap. It actually allows you to get your critical hit chance up back to 80% rather than the cap of 60. It also ups your critical hit damage and it kind of works a bit like the chameleon depending on where you hit on the body. Uh, it's going to build stacks up and then them stacks, you know, depending on where you're hitting on the body, uh, gives you a certain amount of stacks and it allows you to build them up and get yourself that buff. Pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, I don't understand it fully uh, because this, uh, I'd have to test it out when I've got, you know, these mods, but I've not got these mods. These mods are paid mods only right now. We can't, I know I can't get them for my gun right now, uh, but yeah, it's absolutely wild. Uh, just very quickly, let's have a look at anybody else. We've seen that one that's in the base of operations. We've seen that one that's in the base of operations. Uh, if I have a look at my friend Virtuals, you can see that he's got this LMG. Now, we've covered this before. I was only going to be covering one gun in this, uh, but we might as well cover all the guns that we can see that are not in the game. Um, and this is basically like a, a water LMG uh, that uh, lets you... Have like a regulus kind of effect, right? So you shoot things with this, and when you kill them, there's like a water explosion uh, that hurts and kills everything. Uh, you can see on the stats, obviously, it's got LMG damage at the top. Uh, it's then got uh, some kind of arm, nine percent armor recovery on there as well. Uh, it's then got forty-five percent skill damage, and then it's got damage to health on it. 
the bottom stat is damage to elites. Uh, and if we were to try and convert the uh, the talent, uh, it's uh, called Be Endowed by Nature, Fire Suppression. 15% of skill damage gain can be converted into weapon damage. Hits will cause non-mechanical enemies to enter a de-acceleration state with 50% slower movement speed for 6 seconds. Defeating the enemy will cause you or your teammates will cause an explosion for 5 meters. Non-mechanical enemies will be affected by the explosion and will enter a state of deterrent for a per periodic loss of armor. So they get a, basically a uh, you know, the armor starts ticking down like a virus, I guess, or like some poison. At the same time, the attack power will be reduced by 15%, and the damage from you or your teammates will increase by 20% for 6 seconds. So, yeah, crazy, crazy good. And it so it feels a bit like the Strager without the explosion. Like, half of that talent feels a bit like the Strager that we've just got. Um, but yeah, this is really nice looking, this gun. Really, really like This is some water gun, right? This is uh, beautiful looking. Uh, so let's just have a very quick toot. Anybody else? If there's any other guns that we've not got. There is actually that gun there. It's a new named gun called the Knot. It's a, it's a rifle. Uh, and it actually, I think this has a talent, a perfect talent that we don't have, actually. Uh, this has perfect bread basket on. So, you know, we have bread basket, but we don't have perfect bread basket. And again, that was new this season. That's currently in this season's rotation. Um, let's have a quick look if we find anything else that we've not got. Any other guns that we've not covered? No, I think that's going to be it. Yeah, that's going to be it for the video. I was only meant to be covering the one uh, gun that I had. But, you know, I digress. So I'm going to go and do some grinding because this game is a bit of a grind. Uh, and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. In fact, I will chill out with my new friend here, Anubis, uh, with the Jiggle Physics. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. If you're interested in winning a full set of Stalker costumes, make sure you're hitting uh, subscribe here and hit the bell so you get notifications. Give the video a thumbs up. I'm going to be giving away a full set on my lives over the next few days. I've got a few sets to give away here on YouTube and on Twitch. So follow the follow here, you know, wherever you want. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, agents. Goodbye.